Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolathes at Dawn. I am Shadow Fury 333, your host, and this is going to be a match between Dorsch and Snuggle Base. Hang on a sec. I had this set up, but I think it got messed up on me somehow. Whatever. Close enough. All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah. So, match between Snuggle Base and Dorsh on Onyx Cauldron, which I believe is actually a match that Snuggle Base wanted to show me because I wasn't sure how to deal entirely with the Amphib versus Spiderbot matchup. Because Amphibious versus Spiderbot is an odd matchup, and Onyx Cauldron is also a bit of a different map. But yeah, I was kind of curious about that, and so Snuggle Base played against Dorsh to kind of show me. So this is a bit more of an educational thing. Snuggle Base starting out with, well, I mean, Builder to Ducks and Dorsh going for Venom. Dorsh likes Venoms a lot. Like, Venom Redback is Dorsh's thing when it comes to spiders, which is, I mean, okay, with spiders, it's like Venom Redback, Venom Hermit. Those are kind of your options. So it's not too surprising. Whereas Snuggle Base, I believe, is going to be trying to go entirely for Ducks. Now, they were mentioning before, you kind of want to go Ducks in order to survive as long as possible. And then go to Grizzlies in order to actually win the game. And that's how you're supposed to win with Amphib versus Shield. Versus Spiders, sorry. Not versus Shields. Shields are totally different. Amphib versus Spiders. I see you right now. I mean, opening ducks in for Snuggle Base. Snuggle Base just kind of exploring around with it. Not risking too much. While Dorch, on the other hand, is... Well, not really building too much either. They're kind of going in... Okay, this is getting annoying. Sorry. My apologies, one sec, need to switch off some usually useful behavior, which on this map is completely freaking out. Alright, that's better. So yeah, Dorsch is going for... Well, nothing too expansion-oriented. That's the thing, Dorsch is not really expanding much. Snuggleways, on the other hand, there they are, sending out ducks everywhere just to kind of get an idea of where to put them. I mean, where things need to be. They are using them together. This is actually something that I made the mistake of not doing, was putting my ducks together. When I was playing, I was splitting them up a bit too much. And Snuggle Base here we see is actually putting them together. Which is something that it just, like, I, I noticed at the end of my game, and I'm not surprised that Snuggle Base is doing that. Because that's, with ducks, they don't have a lot of post-alpha damage. They have really high alpha, but then after they've attacked, that's kind of it. They've got nothing else to them. Like, they pretty much just stop doing anything useful afterwards. For about two seconds or so. But that's... But that's kind of mitigated by the fact that if you have a bunch of ducks next to each other, then they just all fire. Or, I mean, if they try to avoid overkill, then they fire in quick succession, and you never have to deal with any issues like that. The so Snuggle Base turning those ducks, that pressure, into expansion. Don't really have a whole lot of defense, though. They have a few defenders up here, a couple defenders, a Lotus. Nothing really in the front lines yet. Nothing even really planned, actually. So overall, Snuggle Base is relying entirely on Dorsch being scared with duck pressure in order to force them to respect the fact that they're being pressured and thus not attack Snuggle Base. Dorsch's commander getting hit hard, although Dorsch able to push that away. The duck's not going to bother with that. Really not the idea. The idea is pretty much just to keep your opponent pressured. And unfortunately, Snuggle Base losing a couple ducks, which they would not want to have happen. That was not part of the plan, but it doesn't slow them down too much. They're still getting... They still have 25 metal. That's basically going almost entirely into ducks. Doors, on the other hand, they started out kind of defensive and are having a hard time building up from that. They have to push through this duck pressure. If they go too far too fast, then they get hit by ducks. That's the thing. Dorsh really has to respect these ducks, and Snuggle Base is pushing them hard. No switch to Grizzlies yet, just continuing with the ducks. A few conches here and there, but mostly ducks. And more ducks coming in here, which are kind of threatening the commander, but mostly just threatening the metal extractors. The commander is still okay. The commander level one with... Oh, sorry, level zero. The new morphing commander, or new dynamic commander thing, it says level one when they're actually level zero. There's a bit of a mismatch. I should report a bug on that. Overall, though, actually, that commander system is really cool. 
Regardless, though, Doris's commander about to get destroyed, I think. Is it? Is it? It's... Well, it's forced to retreat. Not sure if it's going to die, though. And... Is it? I think the ducks... I think the ducks were pushed back enough, but... That's not really the point. I mean, the point is... Dorsh has been fighting for this entire island that entire time. Snuggle Base has taken the north side. They're taking the center here. They're pushing hard to the, sorry, the southwest. They're pushing hard to the southwest. They've got 30 some odd metal, whereas Dorsh is about 20. And that's I mean, okay, they've given Dorsh some reclaim to work with, but overall, Dorsh right now has to deal with the fact that there's all these ducks, and they only have maybe a third of the map at most, probably only a quarter, really. No, only a quarter. Not even a third. And that's more duck pressure coming in here. Mostly getting stunned out in the water, but still, it's... That's still keeping Dorsh in the back. That's still keeping Dorsh in the back foot. Snuggle Base is... Well, they're building up. They've got just about 30 without overdrive. Oh, they have 30 without overdrive. Wow, yeah. So they're doing very well for themselves. The north side being taken by the commander. The southwest side being taken by a worker. Haven't yet expanded into the center of the southwest side, but at this point, they probably could, too. There's so much pressure on Dorsh right now, I don't really know how well that would work otherwise. And now Snuggle Base, with how many ducks do they have? 34 ducks right here, 25 ducks right in the front lines. And it looks like the duck production is getting slowed down, or was it just temporarily stopped? Because it's a lot of ducks. A mass. This is what Snuggle Base meant by build a lot of ducks to survive. Because these ducks are still going to be torn to shreds by the Venoms and Redbacks. It looks like a lot of ducks. It's not going to be a lot of ducks when they're through. Like, they're being lost fairly quickly. I mean, right now it's, well, 26, but they're being pulled in as reinforcements. That's the big thing. Snuggle Base is able to reinforce very quickly. Dorsh, on the other hand, although they don't, they have some additional factory production, they don't have a huge amount. And at this point, Snuggle Base, the important thing, they've taken the north side, they've taken the most of the southwest, they're taking more and more of the southwest. They've pretty much taken all the control of the southwest. So that's all sorted. And yeah, there's a few ducks that were lost. And right here, 23 ducks. So overall, when you consider the reinforcements, probably about 10-ish, 7 to 10 ducks were lost. But there are so many ducks, it does not matter. Now we have the Grizzly. Here we are. Grizzly push and fusion reactor, just to make sure, because Snuggle Base is starting to run low in energy. Getting that fusion reactor up just to ensure that they're not going to have any problems. But overall, these ducks, once again, they're getting... They're kind of getting taken out by the Venoms and the Redbacks, but... It's just overwhelming numbers. There are so many of them, it doesn't even matter. And Dorsh right now, having a very difficult time containing that. Well, impossible time, really. They are the one contained. Snuggle Base managed to get that contained, managed to keep Dorsh pressured, and has converted that into an economic advantage, and now into... Grizzly. Fusion plants up, so now everything can be used. All these conches can push those other conches and push more grizzlies, and then it's just going to be mass grizzly to kill everything. There's mass grizzly duck. Dorse's commander loss will probably... No, it's not going to push them out of the game yet. They're still in. They're still going. They are not giving up yet. But they don't have a lot to work with. I mean, the Venom Redback was working fairly well, but like I said, it's just the numbers. For cost, Venom Redback actually does do the trick, and it is taking out, is thinning out the numbers of ducks. It's just not really enough. And there's no crab or anything to deal with. Well, I guess, yeah, crab would kind of deal with the grizzly. But there's no recluses to deal with the grizzly. That's more important. Nothing really is in place to deal with these grizzlies. Or well, the first grizzly is up now. But yeah, nothing really in place to deal with that yet. And at this point, with 50 metal per second, Snuggle Base can easily push a grizzly every minute or so. Actually, faster than that, a minute, a grizzly every 40 seconds. Like, each grizzly is about 40 seconds of production time. And actually, when you consider storage, it's even less than that, because how many conches are here? Yeah, there's eight conches here, that's 60 build power, so that's 70 build power total. That does not take long to build a grizzly. And Dorsh right now, I mean, they only have 15 ducks. Like I said, those numbers got thinned out, but the important thing is... Snuggle Base has map control. They have defenses now on the front lines. As I pointed out before, they didn't have a lot of defenses in the back. They were focusing very much on the front lines. They were not building defenses up in the back. They were building defenses entirely on the front lines, making sure that they were not getting hit with ducks. That's how they made sure they weren't getting hit. Just made Dorsh too afraid to attack. 
and then that just worked. So yeah, if you're ever wondering how to deal with spiders as Amphib, which doesn't come up that often, but if it does, that's kind of how you do it. Like, don't build too many defenses. Build ducks. Build, keep them together. Like, make sure you have a large army of ducks. It will get thinned out. Do not worry about that. The important thing is that you still have an army of ducks. And don't be too aggressive in the process. Just try to take as much territory as possible and then build up from there. Because now the Grizzly's out. Now we have the main assault force and that will be fairly powerful. Once that actually gets into position to start dealing damage. Dorsh pushing a little bit to the north, but at this point it's kind of late. I don't... Are they aware of this Grizzly? Oops. They are not aware of the Grizzly at all. They don't appear to have any idea that there is in fact a Grizzly. It's worth noting, there is in fact a Grizzly. And there's nothing prepared for it. Like, at all. If the Redbacks got into range, they might be able to get one hit off before all dying. But... Otherwise, no, not really. Yeah, that grizzly would be needed to be countered with recluses. Grizzlies, plural, I'm sorry, there are two. But yeah, they would need to be countered with recluses, of which there are none. Dorsh has not built any recluses. At all. And now we're seeing just mass grizzly production. Like I said, about 40 seconds per grizzly. So, if Dorsh takes longer than 40 seconds to kill each Grizzly, the Grizzly numbers will increase. And that'll basically do everything in. The Snuggleway is going in for what may be the final attack. And still with 15 ducks. Or sorry, 17, no. Sorry, 13 ducks. My mistake. 13 ducks is not bad, but the important thing is the two grizzlies. The ducks are there for support, and that's... Even that, not super useful, but yeah, Dorsh throwing the towel. That is game, and that is how you beat Spider with Amphib. You basically use ducks to put enough pressure out in order to expand everywhere, and then use the expansion everywhere to build the grizzlies. So yeah, that was... That was the first game of the day. Next game is going to be between... Come on, hurry up. I think it's Rar and someone. Rar and Adam 2 on Alien Desert. That'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned.